guys in this lesson i will be teaching you how to measure for your window curtains and draperies now i could stand at a window and try to show you how to do it but i think it's more effective to show you on diagrams on my whiteboard and so that's exactly what i will be doing in this video so on the diagrams the blue lines represent your walls the red lines with the box on the inside represent your window now ff means finish floor finish floor is whatever your floor is finished with so if it's carpet hardwood concrete tiles whatever it is that's your finished floor now cl represents ceiling line your ceiling line is where your wall meets your ceiling now sill your sill is the top part of your window um, framing here and your apron is the bottom part that's just under the sill and it's against the wall and i also have crown molding on the diagram now we will have to deal with the crown molding when we do the measurement for the length generally speaking you can have four different lengths of draperies so you can have from the ceiling to the floor. That is your full length draperies. You can have above your frame or on the frame to the floor. That's your floor length draperies. You can have above your window or on the frame to your sill. That's sill length draperies. Or you can have above your window on the frame to your apron that would be apron length draperies okay so how do we measure measure our full length draperies we measure from the ceiling line all the way down to the floor however if you have crown moldings Generally speaking, you will want to start at least two inches from your crown molding. So at least two inches from your crown molding, and then you will measure all the way down to your finished floor. And that would be your full length draperies. Okay, so if you want to make your life easier then you do not have to measure two inches and then measure down what you could actually do is just measure from your ceiling line all the way down to your finished floor and then subtract your molding and the two inches from whatever measurement you get so take for example your crown molding is six inches I'll put crown mold in a CM is six inches and you start from two inches below your crown molding that would be plus two inches that's eight inches so if from your ceiling line to your finished floor measures 96 inches then you minus your eight inches for your allowance and your crown molding and that will be eight eight that would be 88 inches so that is your measurement for your full length draperies now let's look at your floor length draperies as i said before you could measure your full length draperies from on your frame down to the finished floor however most times full length draperies are measured from just above the window frame to the floor and generally speaking 
you would go four inches above your frame and measure from that all the way down to your finished floor and that would be your floor let your floor length draperies okay so that's floor length now there is nothing that says that you could not go higher than four inches. It depends on your window and it depends on the space sometimes too that's between your window frame and your crown molding. You could divide that space into thirds and then use a third. So for example, if the space between your crown molding and your frame is 12 inches if you divide into thirds that would be four inches okay but if it's more if you have 18 inches then divide your 18 inches into thirds which would mean that it would be 18 divide by three would be six inches so you would start from six inches above your window frame so that's your full length draperies now let's look at sill length sill length could start from on the frame down to your sill or above the frame down to your sill it would be the same four inches above your frame that you start so for your sill length you go four inches above your frame and you measure down to your sill for the apron length you would go from the same distance and measure down to your apron so this would be sill length and this would be apron length sail length and apron length draperies you rarely find these days however if you for example have a radiator or some kind of obstruction below your window maybe you choose to go for um sill or apron length or you could just use a Roman blind that sits inside or sits on the frame. Okay, personally speaking, I'd prefer to use a Roman blind. If I have a radiator that's obstructing my window draperies, I would prefer to use a Roman blind on my window because my Roman blind could sit outside of my frame and stop at my apron or my sill length plus i could then go ahead and put stationary draperies on either side of my window so i don't necessarily have to pull my draperies across the radiator under the window but then i will have that roman blind that sits there whenever i need the window to be covered let's move on to your width how do you measure your width? Now, we have a lot of general rules, but they can be broken. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to use what's generally used or what the rule of thumb says. It all depends on your circumstances. It all depends on what you're working with. Okay, so they, these are just guidelines for you to be better able to measure for your draperies and your curtains so let's look at the width if you're measuring um side to side draperies you start from about four inches from your frame now you could let your drapery sit on your frame but then you will have light seepage at the sides so usually we go four inches off the side both sides but 
again just like we spoke about the measuring for the length you might have obstruction it all depends on what's going on beside your window if you have clearance no problem if you don't have clearance then you can adjust this four inches make it two inches if you want to as a matter of fact four inches is just a general rule of thumb you could go up to eight inches six inches 16 inches depending on what you want what you're working with and the look you want to achieve so you would measure from four inches off all the way across to get your off the frame measurement now if you decide that you want the width of your drapery to cover from wall to wall or corner to corner then you measure right across from one corner to the next corner and that would be your wall to wall or corner to corner drape full width draperies okay so you can have either on the frame where you measure from frame to frame you can have off the frame where you measure from four inches on either side of the frame or you can have wall-to-wall -wall draperies where you measure right across now it is always best and it is advisable that when you are doing any measurements whether for your width or for your length that you have an idea or at least have your hardware and your curtain rods that you are going to use because that will also affect your measurement so it's like choosing the paint color on your wall and then you try to find furnishes to go with it it's kind of like that you don't want to measure get your draperies made and then you have to try to find your hardware and your rod curtain rods to go with it the best thing is to have your curtain rods at hand and your hardware that you will be using to install your draperies it's even better to have them installed before you measure and that way you get precise measurements now i hope i made this all clear so i hope i really hope this helped and by the way when you get your measurements i do have a video i will link that in the description box or on which tells you how to calculate how much fabric you need for your curtains and your draperies so those measurements you just plug in to the system that i gave you on that video and you will be off to the races thank you guys so much for liking commenting subscribing and sharing my videos now if you do share any of my videos just give me a heads up and let me know that you've shared it so i can know who my video is reaching i love to hear so thank you again so much and by the way if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed please go ahead subscribe and hit that notification button so you can be notified of new videos i'll see you in the next video